then you get down here, it's a lot quieter. You know, no cell phone reception or anything, so it's, it's nice to just kind of get away from that everyday grind. When you're a guy, you get into a routine. You, you're unable to try different things because you're on a time schedule. Down here, you know, time's on your side. There's so many different things you can do. My name is uh, Troy Pruitt and uh, I was born and raised in Naples, Florida. And I uh, come down here fishing the Everglades, uh, just a, it's just a passion of mine. I really enjoy being down here and um, I don't have any intentions on being a guide. I'm not a certified captain at all, I just like to come down here and fish. I'm Captain Bruce Jack Mack, I'm a Naples resident, uh, lived here all my life, uh, started fishing maybe I don't know, eight, ten years ago with uh, Troy Pruitt down here. You know, I got introduced to the Everglades back in high school. A friend of mine that um, was a guy down here, he had actually showed me uh, the area down here. And after that first trip, he took me down here. I just wanted to learn more and more about it. You know, it's such a big area. So I tried to come out here as much as I could. You know, I finally got a boat and um, I'd come out here, you know, once or twice a week, weekends. From where I fish, we, we have all the species there, but uh, the fishing pressure is, is a lot more intense. Uh, down here, you, you don't see any boats. You know, you can fish all day and practically not see any boats. To be able to run out in the morning and, and, and pick and choose what you want to catch uh, is, is pretty cool. You come out, you have a plan, and sometimes, maybe two out of 10 times, that plan unfolds the way you foresaw it before you got there. And it happened, and it happened in a pretty cool way. Okay. It, it, it's the hunt, you know, it's trying to, to see that fish and put the, the bait in front of them. And um, you know, that's what kind of brings me back. It's the excitement of, of you know, catching the fish and seeing it. Woo, that's a good one there. Look at that thing going You can concentrate on catching snook and redfish all day. Um, and let's say the tide goes wrong and it's not the right tide for snook or redfish, you can run a few miles offshore, run the crab pots for triple tail. If you go a little further than that, you can hit some of the wrecks and you can catch permit, tarpon, um, and you can do that all in one day. Oh yeah. yeah. Look at that, look at, look at me sitting there. That's, that's another one there. I hit it and he spit it. Oh. 
Spazio. That's pretty cool, man. Prehistoric creatures, aren't yeah. they, man? Triple tail. Yep. There we go. Permit. Oh man. Now watch out for the sharks too, because man, they will get them. Uh oh. Oh, shark got him. Shark got him. It's very seldom you meet somebody that has the same passion that you do at the same intensity level as I do. What a difference it makes when you're fishing with somebody that, that knows how to cast, knows how to you know, catch bait with you or drive the boat. It, it just makes a day so much more enjoyable. Fishing down here eight years with Troy uh, has taught me a lot about fishing. The guy knows his stuff. Uh, immense amount of knowledge uh, that I transfer to what I do where I fish. You know, I'm down here just to relax. Um, and like today, you know, we had those two redfish on. The redfish is going to eat the boat. Bruce pulls the troll motor up right away and he does it just automatically. You know, he doesn't have to, I don't have to ask him about it. That's really, you know, by fishing with somebody for a long time, for many years, that's what you develop. You just develop that, that chemistry. It's funny because, you know, when the fish are really biting, you don't want to leave. But let's say it's a slow day and the tides aren't that great and you're having trouble catching some fish, you want to stick around longer and longer. So it's a, one of those situations where you always want to be down here. You know, you want to fish here as long as you can, but that's that's what kind of keeps us coming back here also, you know, and uh, you know, as you can tell, we don't want to leave a, a great place. You got to come down here and you got to put your time in, that's for sure. It's not always going to go the way you want, but if you stick it out, you're going to leave this place with a smile. <laughs>